What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Zac Efron film, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates stars Adam Devine, Zac Efron, Aubrey Plaza, and Anna Kendrick, and is the story of two brothers whose younger sister is getting married in Hawaii, and their parents decide that they cannot go stag to this wedding because they ruin all of the family events every time because they get everybody riled up, and then something gets blown up or destroyed or something of that nature. So they force them to bring dates, and Aubrey Plaza and Anna Kendrick are these two very raunchy, not what you would think of as nice girls who fake it so they can go on a free trip to Hawaii. Now one thing I want to bring up is that this movie is apparently somewhat based on a true story. It's not fully based on a true story, but there are aspects of this film that are apparently based on two real guys who really had a situation similar to this happen, and they came up with the idea of turning it into a movie. And I did not know that until I saw like the third trailer for this film, and then at the beginning of the movie they then state it again, but it was very interesting to watch this film and think that two dudes actually sort of went through something similar to this. Obviously this is extremely exaggerated. They even and say in the beginning based on a true story dot 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 somewhat but I thought that that was an interesting thing for this movie of all movies to be based on something that actually happened kind of now the number one thing that you need a comedy to do is to make you laugh and this movie made me laugh really hard. This is a very funny movie. It has so many different types of jokes and I will say this right now, Adam Devine steals this entire film from every single person in it. If it was anybody else in that role, this movie would not work. He is absolutely perfect and he is so funny in this entire movie. The script of this movie is really the savior of it. It's so funny because all these characters have these one-liners that are really good mixed in with these funny like plot devices that happen throughout the film that cause for even funnier things to go on. And I think that this is one of the few times when we actually get a comedy like this where it works because I feel like so often we end up with movies like Dirty Grandpa and that's the one thing about this movie I loved. This movie did not try to rely on bad language and just an old man saying weird creepy things for an old man to say and you're supposed to laugh and it's really over the top and offensive. This movie didn't rely on things like that like Dirty Grandpa. Dirty Grandpa is terrible. This movie is actually good. It's very funny. It uses its script to create situations that make funny jokes and that's what a comedy is supposed to do. I personally think that Zac Efron did much better than I expected him to do in this film. Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza started off weak but got better throughout the film and as I said before, Adam Devine is just amazing in this movie. The physical comedy that he puts into his work, the facial expressions, the weird mannerisms, the strange way that he delivers his lines is what makes him so funny and it's what makes this movie so funny. This movie is just the perfect summer comedy. It's the best movie you could go to with just a group of your buddies and friends to go and laugh a whole bunch because that's what this movie will do. The only things that it really has wrong with it to me are it's sort of top heavy. The beginning of the movie is very, very funny. And then in the middle, there's a pretty decently sized lull where you learn about characters and you get maybe a little more invested in them, but it isn't very funny. And then at the end, it really brings it back to being really funny. So I really enjoyed that part of it. And the other thing, that I felt was wrong with it was Aubrey Plaza and Anna Kendrick's characters in the beginning felt like very cliche, raunchy, bad girls, and they didn't feel like they had anything else to them. Now as the movie progressed, they obviously became deeper characters, and you cared about them more, and they were funnier. So I think that that problem was solved just as the pacing problem was solved by the end of the film, but I felt like in the middle there was that lull, and I felt like in the beginning the two of them really weren't that funny. I'm gonna give Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates a B. This movie is just flat out very funny. Adam Devine is absolutely amazing. I love Workaholics. I've seen every episode of it. And I really hope that this movie solidifies him as someone that deserves to be on the big screen in comedies because he's so funny and he steals the show from Zac Efron and Aubrey Plaza and Anna Kendrick who are all very talented, very funny people. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews and I hope to see you guys later.